bro. So our next comedian coming to the stage, it's his very first show, okay? So I need y'all, I need y'all to show him a lot of love. Make him feel warm here at the Chateau. I appreciate y'all, I appreciate y'all. And make some noise for Jamarius Overton, everybody. a few things I think we should talk about. <laughs> Whoever was responsible for urban development and infrastructure originally? Fucking cokehead. Straight fucking cokehead. I mean, have you ever looked at a map of LA? That man was just in his office. All right! Here, 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 here. And nobody questions that about it. I know this was around the time when America was great because there was no women in the workforce. I know that because you have on-ramps and off-ramps in the middle of residential neighborhoods. Yeah. Nobody thought about baby Karen going to get her ball. I did, that bitch was sent straight to Earth's manager, the expressway. Now I have found a few things that I love about LA. The dispensaries. yes. Although moving from a state where the weed isn't legal, my first time in dispensaries, I was still in street mode. And she was trying to sell me weed like we was in Costco. <laughs> this is a sativa, this is an indica. And oh my gosh, you have to try this hybrid. Take my money and give me my drugs. <laughs> Who the fuck taught you how to do this job? And it's crazy, 12 months ago, I wouldn't have changed my weed man unless his baby mama started to act weird. <laughs> I go to a new dispensary every day now because I'm a new customer, <laughs> and I need my 40% off, okay? Now, my relationships with dispensaries is love-hate, because a new dispensary pops up every day, just a new green cross in your neighborhood. When Jamal and Pookie was popping up in your neighborhoods with their lucrative business opportunities, they were men's societies. It's aesthetic pleasing, and now, you're entrepreneurs? Uh, bullshit. Free my homeboy, Jamal. Free him immediately. Pookie shot a couple people, so he already right where the hell he at. Can't really advocate for that. No. Has anybody seen the price of existing in LA though? Yeah. yeah. For me, it's at a point where it's either sell jokes or sell ass. And uh, I ain't got that much. We're gonna run out quick. 24 hour blowout sale. All gone. And I know it looks like a lot, but it's just why. And nobody learns that quicker than the dude trying to be cute, going in and grabbing a lump of back fat. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. <laughs> I learned from the best. You shove everything you got in these jeans and you make it work, okay? <laughs> if women can put their fupas in jeans, I can put my fupa in there. My fat upper back area, okay? <laughs> and if you haven't concluded or assumed yet, thank you. <laughs> that is more grace than my family ever gave me. <laughs> Yes, but I am gay, yeah. yeah. But I'm not like TikTok, Instagram, trendy gay. I'm more like original recipe gay. And I think that upset my sisters when I came out because they thought they were getting somebody who, who was good at hair, nails, makeup. Maybe could help them find a man. I suck dick and eat Doritos. I can't do any of that shit. I do apologize. Yeah, and I'm not one of those gay people who thinks everybody wants to be gay or everybody should be gay, but I do think everybody is a little gay, okay? Yeah. And I know there's a few women out there like, not my man. You don't know the bitch him and his best friend used to knock down together. She knows what it feels like to have them sword fight inside of her, okay? And I don't care what you say, double penetration is nothing but sword fighting with a meat condom on, okay? There's not one one position where the balls don't touch. <laughs> and that's a little gay, all right? <laughs> yeah, thank you. You guys are making me feel great, yes. Now, I am an Uber driver, and yes. let's just say, if you order anything under Uber Black, you have asked a friend for a ride, okay? <laughs> If you wouldn't get in and complain about your friends driving or their choice of music or AC, don't do it to me either, friend. Don't do it to me either. But people 
do like to use Ubers as therapy sessions? Yeah. yeah. I had a gentleman tell me the other day, he was in the most biggest, luxurious house in Hollywood Hills he ever been in. That was the perfect place to try crack. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that that was a thing, but apparently I was sharing his business with a client a few rides later, and she said her employer taught her how to cook his crack in the microwave. <laughs> apparently that was her last straw for that job, but she still added it to her resume. 350 words a minute, proficient in Microsoft. Can nuke a little crack in the microwave. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is the end of this quickie, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> Hopefully next time we can take a blue pill or...